Welcome to episode 10 of Classroom Pizza with me, your teacher, Justin. That's right, we are in double digits. No one has stopped me yet. Today's episode is recipe number two in March Recipe Madness. You excited? Because it's time for class. This week's recipe is broccoli pesto pizza. If you've never heard of it, you are in for a treat. I only recently heard of this pizza and let me tell you, it is going to jump to your top three, if not your number one spot. So let's jump right into it. We're going to mix it up today with our dough recipe and try one of the techniques we talked about before but didn't go into too much detail. We are gonna make what's called a poolish pre-fermented starter dough. This recipe calls for some advanced planning because we are going to start the poolish three days out. Since today is Saturday, I'm going to plan to make the dough on Tuesday. So Saturday to Sunday to Monday, my poolish will be fermenting. Monday I combine everything, Monday into Tuesday my poolish will be ready to go. So let's start with the poolish. Uh, again, remember this is one of our pre-fermented starters in which we basically just add our flour, our water, and our yeast. We combine all of that together, we let it pre-ferment without all the other ingredients, and then that ends up being acting like our yeast, which we combine with the rest of our ingredients. So let's get into it. Our recipe will make four 10 to 12 inch pizzas, or you could do three 12 to 14 inch pizzas. Either way, start with 200 grams of double zero flour, 250 grams of room temperature water, which is about 75 degrees Fahrenheit, and a third of a teaspoon of yeast. Combine it all together, mix it thoroughly so that it's all well incorporated, and then we're just gonna cover it and throw it in the fridge for our first 48 hour rise. Two days later, so now we are ready to assemble our dough. If you do not have a mixer, that's fine. I am gonna be using one today for this video. Um, you can do this by hand. The mixer just makes it a little bit easier. We're gonna add 220 grams of 105 degree water to the mixer or a large bowl. This is going to help melt the poolish so it's easier to incorporate into the water. Then we're gonna slowly add clumps of that poolish and begin to mix it all together for about five minutes until it's mostly dissolved. Then slowly incorporate 460 grams of double zero flour over the course of a few minutes. Finally, we're just gonna add our 15 grams of fine sea salt, 30 grams of honey, and let it mix for a full 10 minutes. Then cover it, rest it for 10 minutes, uncover it and mix for another five to 10 minutes. Remove the dough and form a large ball, coat it in a light layer of olive oil and then leave it to rest at room temperature for 30 minutes under a damp towel. After those 30 minutes, cut your dough into equal weights of four dough balls of 290 grams each. I just eye it out and I roll it out, I cut it in half and then half again. And then each dough ball we're gonna tuck under itself, pinching it at the end. Throw each dough ball into its own airtight container and leave for one hour at room temperature. Lastly, we are going to throw our dough into the refrigerator. It can go up to 36 hours. Try not to go past that because remember, it's already been fermenting for two days prior as well as a third day. So no longer than 36 hours. And remember the day that you're gonna use it, so if you're making pizza at six o'clock that evening, take your pizza out at least at 4 p.m. so that it has two hours to get up to room temperature. 
Dough is pretty much ready, so now we get working on our sauce. Pesto cream sauce, let's go. Start with two cups of fresh basil, two thirds cup of fresh parsley. I'm using three big old giant garlic cloves, but you can use fewer if you don't want it as garlicky. You can go as more if you want. Um, so I'm gonna throw those in. Salt and pepper to taste, and then olive oil just to kind of get it all together. Mix it thoroughly, nice, and mix together. And then once that's done, you're gonna throw it into a saucepan with a half quart of heavy cream. You're gonna get that to a rolling simmer, a light boil, not aggressively boiling, and you are gonna cook that until it reduces by about 50%. Once it has come down about halfway, then your sauce is ready to go. You can refrigerate that for a couple days before your pizza is ready to be made. To save yourself some time, you can prep the pesto sauce a few days before and leave it in the refrigerator. Won't change the taste at all, or you can do it the day of. Either way works. Um, since it's Tuesday, that means it's pizza day. So, two hours out, I'm gonna take my doughs out, get them up to room temperature. Right now, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my cheese. I'm going with a boar's head baby Swiss cheese block. I'm gonna slice these up and then throw them into the freezer about one hour out. It can be longer, that's fine. Remember, with an hour to go, you're gonna preheat your oven as high as it goes, as well as adding that cheese to the freezer. So it's T minus one hour. We're gonna get our broccoli ready to go. After washing your broccoli, go ahead and start by just getting rid of the larger stalks, cut smaller chunks off, and I'm just gonna toss all of these, once I'm done, into some olive oil with a hint of garlic powder and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Toss that briefly and then you can leave that aside. So now it's pizza time. Our dough is ready, cheese is chilled and out of the freezer, the broccoli looks delicious, pesto, check. Let's get going. Gently remove your dough, coating it in flour, both sides, flip it around. Then we're gonna spread the dough and add a liberal layer of that pesto cream sauce. Add our slices of Swiss, top it with the broccoli, and then throw it right into the oven. And now into the oven for eight to 10 minutes. And there you have it, the final product, broccoli pesto pizza, so delicious. With this recipe down, let's quickly get to the homework for the week. Your homework this week is another simple one. Make this recipe, try it out, get your ingredients, get your equipment, and get yourself cooking. I promise you this broccoli pesto pizza is going to exceed expectations. Once you make it, go ahead and take a picture, put it on social media, and tag Classroom Pizza. That's gonna do it for today's episode. Thank you, as always, for joining me. I hope you learned something new and are as excited as I am to eat this amazing pizza. See you next week, and as always, thanks for coming to class.